few things I'm going to need from you in terms of being able to print your cams. Oops, I'm going to need your uh, cam, but I'm going to need it in a special file format, which is called an STL. So remember, when we make a part, this is an IPT. I can't print an IPT. The information is not available to do that. So luckily, doing this in Inventor is real simple. You're going to take, uh, open up your part, go to the Environments tab, and then you'll see a little icon for 3D print. I'm going to click that. It comes up here, and then we'll see this, STL. So it's going to convert your IPT into what's called an STL file. This is what is printable, what the printer can read and actually produce a plastic copy of what you've made. So I'm just going to go ahead and click that. Here's really important. I'm going to get so many of these pouring into my email. I need to know whose is whose. So don't just allow it to save as part or something like that. Put your name on it. So I'm going to call mine just Hennings Cam one you might send me another one so you might have your name cam one and cam two i'm going to go ahead and hit save and it's going to save into my project folder that i've been working on in inventor then i just need to email it to myself or you need to email it to me and that's easy too so we'll compose an email and i'll just type in my email there It'll be uh and it's cams Here they are, and we need to, let's spell R right, and we need to attach them. So we're going to use the paperclip attachment, and here's where we have to find where we actually put those. We have to find where our project folder is. So after a little bit of searching, my project folder was an inventor, unit 8 parametrics. That's where I'm doing all my work, and here's that STL file that I uh, changed, a company, or a uh, software called Cura did that. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that. And then you'll attach your other CAM2. So you might have something analogous to Henning's CAM2. And you'll hit send. And just so you know what I'm going to do on my part is when I open up Cura, I need to insert that file. So if I look at here, here's some other students that have sent me their files already. So I insert it here. So we'll use Connors as an example. Looks super big, right? That's way too big, and that's because you rendered yours in inches. So what I need to do on my end is convert it uh, into millimeters for uh, Inventor or for the Ultimakers, and that's really simple. We know that there are 25.4 millimeters per inch, so that means I'm going to scale it by... 2,540, and that's sort of what our cam looks like. This is what I print. Anyways, if you want me to print it, get me the STL files. Make sure your name is in the file name. I will not print anything that just says cam or part, and then uh, get it to me, and we'll get it printed as soon as possible. Okay, bye.